everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So if you've been following me on my Facebook page, even in the YouTube videos that I've been sharing, when um, this magazine of mine was launched, I said that I've very kindly been sent all the samples and I wanted to share them all with you in more detail, just so you can see them up close. But before you know it, we've got two weeks before Christmas and I've only managed to share a few of them. So what I thought I would do is just have this video dedicated to however many are here and just have it really as a little bit of a diary and as a reference video for those of you that have the magazine. So you can see all the photos of all of these beautifully shot in here, but I thought it'd be nice to also have them in this video as well. So there's going to be no particular order. I'm just going to grab them as I see them and then I'm going to put them to one side so I know that I've shared every single sample. Okay, so like I said, no particular order. I'm just going to hold them up and I think you'll be able to see more of the detail better because the photos don't always pick up the detail that goes into these cards. So this one here is a thank you card with a focus on the, the stamped kind of leaves and then they've added some texture on the back. This is done by Gemma, who's on my design team. So you can see that lovely one there. And this one is a circle fold card there. And then we've got this cute one here. I love how it's been made into the shape of a sweet. Lots of sparkle and glitter on this one. And then all the little sweets there have been stamped and coloured. This one has been made by Vanessa Hodg Hodgson. Yeah, it's Vanessa Hodgson. Beautiful, that one there. And then this little one here, again, I think the focus for this commission was on all of the smaller stamps in the set. As you can see this little shaped card here which again has been done by Vanessa. Some of these I might have shared before, so apologies, but you've got this lovely shaker one here, which looks like hundreds and thousands that you'd get on the top of a, a cupcake or something. And that little birthday card, and that's been made by, again, Vanessa. This one here, the shaker, I love the sparkle there, using that iridescent glitter and the glitter card there as well. To a dear friend, Seasons Greetings. This one has been made, it just says SJ Reed. Really, really sweet one there. And you've got this little diamond shaped card here and that's again by SJ Reed. And then we've got a gift tag. Happy holidays using the papers and the little gingerbread there. And that has been made by Sarah. And then we've got this one here from our home to yours. So this one opens up. You can pop a little gift card in these ones as well or maybe a little message. And that has been made by Ashley. This one here, which is a peekaboo style card to a dear friend. And then when you open it, you see the flower there. You're a hoot. That has been made by Ashley again. And then this one here, if I try and make a bit of a flat surface, I think it just stands like so. And you've got this little piece here as well. Season's greetings. All the papers have been used on that one. Looks really nice. This one is by Amy. And then this one here. Hello, Foxy. Happy birthday. Another shaped card there. And that has been made by Jessica. And then you can make some wrapping paper. I love this one here. So it's just some pink paper. You've got the gingerbread and the sentiment stamped all over that one there. You've got this one here using the wreath stamp. Thank you for being so sweet. I think that's really nice, clean and simple. It's a lovely style and that's been made by Vanessa again. And then we've got this one here, Happy Holidays, with the three gingerbread there and the little door. So it's a working door. See, it does open there. And that one has been made by Sarah. This one here, Home Sweet Home. I really like the way they've used the dies there and just the different colours just to, you know, turn it into, like I said, a card for the rest of the year, not just for Christmas. And that's been made by Jessica. This one here I really like. So the mechanism, because it's a slider card or a double slider, has been put onto the front of a top folding card. Yeah, so you've got a top fold card there. I think that's really, really cute. They've added the little the roof there with some triangle card. Have the sweetest Christmas. I love that. I think it's a really cool style. And that's again been made by Sarah. And you just slide that in and it will all close up. And we got this one here to a dear friend, you're a hoot. Just a nice circle card, been made by Jessica. And then we've got here more sparkle. I think it's really, really sweet. Again with the little door there from our home to yours. And that's been made by SJ Reed again. We've got this cute little note card, just says Hello Foxy, on that little swinging tag. And that's been made by Ashley. And then we've got this big one here, which I've shared before. This one's been made by Gemma, and it's the accordion card. I love this style. I think it's great for those big milestone birthdays. You've got so much space there to be able to decorate. And then that all folds up, and it's like a book. 
and you've got your space you can write on the back there or on the inside panels it's a lovely keepsake you can fill it with photos and all sorts really nice style then we've got this cute little triple shaker card here really like that one and that's been made by debbie we've got this one here thank you for being so sweet and um, focus on all the stamps there and that's again been made by I think SJ Reed is Sarah. <laughs> so that's Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you to everybody as well, which is why I just thought it was nice to share all of these. I love these two here. I think the colours, the coral and the gold, it's so nice. You've got this little cute little note card here, heart shaped one. And that's by Marie, I think. Yeah, Marie. And you've got the lovely little triangle shaped one there. I just think they're very very cute you can see all the shine there from the embossing powder then we've got this little 3d diorama here which is using the scenes so she's I say she jessica has cut a piece out of each kind of picture and placed it on the acetate there isn't that clever thank you for being so sweet really like that one very cute and then this one here i made so it's a spinner card so you've got your two little gingerbread there that spin around and I've used the papers and then this one here it's another double slider there that's been made by Gemma and then the sides there just slide in you've got your little stand on the back there and then we've got this one here from our home to yours it's a little trifold tri-panel that one there uh, has been made by Vanessa again and then this one here with all the glitter and that little wreath that's been made. I think that's really clever. Again, I think, oh no, it's Marie, that one. Some of these are, are under in the magazine under like quick makes, easy makes, beginner makes. Then you've got your more detailed ones. There'll be a focus on the sliders. Everyone who's contributed to the magazine would have had a different commission. So it would have had a focus on, you know, something different so, to make sure that overall we've covered everything. This one's really cute. Really simple design with the little present there, but that's using the flower stamp just to create your own pattern paper there. Happy birthday. And that's by Marie. And that is under the beginner's guide. So these are like quick makes. This one here, happy birthday to a dear friend. Got some acetate on the front there. And that has been made by, there's no name on that one. Don't know who's done that one. Have the sweetest. Again, these are probably quick makes. Oh, this one says Jen McKean. And I think that might be the same as well. So I believe they're possibly both by Jen. It was on a post-it note, so that's probably why I've lost that bit. And then you've got this one here. How lovely is that with the seed beads? They move so freely. It's your birthday. Go nuts. <laughs> I love it. And that one's been made. There's no name on it, but again, it possibly is Jen who's done that one. And we've got a cute little gift bag style card here. And I like that they've used, again, I say they, this is Ashley. She's used like Nouveau drops on the wreath there. She's used a glaze over the tag there. Have the sweetest Christmas. And then this one opens, got a little hook and loop fastening. And you've got your space there to write your message. These are also great to add a gift card inside as well. And then I've got this one here. So this is a spinner card that I did. Just an easy one using the pattern papers and the owl and the fox there and we've got this one here this has been made by jessica so it's that little triple aperture there with each of the characters go nuts it's your birthday i reckon we're about halfway <laughs> then we've got this one here this is lovely in the shape of a sweet wrapper again love the way that that's all been heat embossed this looks like it's the same as the other ones that marie done those two other cute ones that i liked yeah, that's really nice and it opens up like so and templates and all the instructions to make all these cards are all in that magazine. A lot of these are on my channel as well, these styles. I have done them at some point. And this one here, I think this was Gemma. Yes, it is. This is an accordion card. That all stands up. You've got your space on the back to write your message. Really cute style. I like that one. And then we've got some more rocker cards here. This one has had the wreath made using all of the different stamped images there season's greetings that's been made by debbie you can see that one rocks that's cute and then i've done this wreath one one of my commissions was to just focus on all of the pre-stamped and colored images in the magazine so i've done that one there quick that was a quick make as well and it all folds flat then we've got this one here so you've got another cute little double slider there 
season's greetings to a dear friend. And then we've got this one here, like the rosette. There's a lot of dimension in this one. You've got the rosette there. And then you've got this drape effect here where the paper's been folded. I think that's really sweet. And that's been made by Amy. And then I've done this shaker style here using the images, the stamped images there. I heat embossed them in white. Just in a big bow. Have the sweetest Christmas. And then we've got this cute little one here, which has been made by Debbie. It's just a cute little house easel card there using the papers and some of the stamped images. We've got this one here that Gemma's done. This is one of my faux double stepper cards. So again, very quick and easy make there. And we've got this one here, which I just think is so cute. So much detail has gone into that one from our home to yours. It's a lovely little 3D make there. And that has been made by Emma. I think Emma did this one as well. Have the sweetest Christmas. And again, yep, yeah, that's been made by Emma. And that one just comes off there. You can see all the space you've got inside. And then we've got this one here. Happy birthday, little circle card there. That's been made by Amy. And then this large card I've already put together. Can you see that one? How cool is that? So you've got all the characters there, really easy to cut using each of the scenes there as well. And then this one, it's like a double easel folds like so, I believe. And that's the front and that's been made by Amy. Then we've got this cute little box here. Happy holidays. And this is one of those little tower wrap kind of boxes i've got lots of these on my channel they're so good they're just i think it's quite an unexpected thing for for the person when they take the lid off to you know see it do this and you can make them as tall as you want and as big as you want they're, they're they are nice those and then this one here another circle card warm winter wishes very quick easy one there just layering up the papers and then this is another one by emma there's a little tree decoration and she's put the house inside there. How sweet is that? Season's greetings. Very, very cute. Got this one here, which again has been made by Emma. Emma's commission must have been 3D makes. You can see that one there. How lovely. Then we've got another large card here by Gemma. You can see all on the side there how that looks. Just creating that scene with all of the animals there. It's your birthday. You've got the acetate on the front there. That's an eight by eight size. And we've got another one here by Gemma. Cute little pop-up there. Yeah, and with two of the characters. Happy birthday. Maybe Gemma will share some of them on her channel. She's got her own YouTube channel, Gemma Lee Crafts. So if you head over there, she shares some wonderful things. This is cute. They'd make lovely little table favours. Thank you for being so sweet. And that one has been made by... Emma again and then I've made this one here from our home to yours which is showing how to turn the gingerbread template into a pop-up card so that all folds flat to go in your envelope and will open up like so you can see the accent glaze all on the front there all around the back I'll let you into a secret here this was should have been on the front can you see there where it went a bit wrong at the end and it really bugs me <laughs> <laughs> and when I went and stuck it down, I realised I stuck it the wrong way. So that should have been at the back because look how nice the front, you know, this side looks there. But never mind, these things happen. It's still a lovely card and I really like this one. We've got this cascading gatefold card here that Gemma's made. I think, again, this was just more about the small stamps and creating your own papers. So you can see all of that in there and then the topper and that all closes up and is held together with the belly band. Then I've got these cards here. So these are all using my showstopper dies. And that one all folds down. And we've got this one here. I really like that one. Sweet Christmas wishes. That's really cool. Again, that all folds down. And then this one here. I love that one. See all the shine on that and the glaze on the flowers. And then this one here, Sweetest Friend. So that's just half of the, the first one that I showed you there. And I've done this one here. Cute little pop-up there. 
with all of the characters. And then we've got this one here, which has been made by Sarah, just using the die there, the square die, which kind of like overlapped it to create that star shape. That's really cool. A little circle card there. And then I've done this one. So it's a little double again. You just pull that out and you can see you've got your stand on the back. And there's videos on my Made to Surprise channel and also through the links in the magazine that will take you to Craft World. There's this one here, which has been made by Debbie. It's a little pop up there. I love that one. You get your family of gingerbread popping out of the present there. Have the sweetest Christmas and that all slides back down. And then this one here is again from Gemma. Have the sweetest Christmas. I think that's really cute. And then the last one that I've got here, hoping I haven't missed any, was this one again that I made, which was half of the trifold there. And I've just stamped all of the gingerbread and then I've added the glaze over the top. Lots of shine on that one and that big bow. Have the sweetest Christmas. And then two more that aren't in the magazine, but I've recently made, and these are on my Mixed Up Craft channel, is these hexagon slimline cards. And you can see I've created that scene. So I made this one during a Facebook Live, and then this is the one that I made for YouTube. You can see you've got the glitter there for the snow, and that all folds flat, and that will go into a DL envelope. You can see the workings inside there. So these are these springy ones there, but I thought it was nice creating that little scene there. So like I said at the beginning, I just thought it was nice to have a reference video really with all of these samples so that if you do have the magazine, you've got this as kind of a reminder. And it's just a nice, like I said, a bit of a diary for me as well to look back on and see all of the wonderful things that people have made. So again, thank you to all of the contributors, all the design team who have made these samples. They are amazing. And like I said, there are still some copies of this magazine floating around WH Smith, Sainsbury's, Tesco, Morrison's, Asda, Waitrose, Hobbycraft, and I'm sure there's some other places as well. So yeah, if you didn't manage to find one, hopefully one will pop up unexpectedly somewhere for you. But uh, yeah, as always, thank you for watching today. Hope you enjoyed this video from me today and I'll see you all again very soon. Take care. Bye.